When people actually talk about Robin, you know, because all these slanderers and accusations have been made about Robin, and it keeps people away. And it's, you know, put uh, fear and where they give people the wrong message. And I've lived here, I've raised them, and we have our ups and downs, like everywhere else. But here, we are striving as white and black, working to build this community up. Yeah, look, I've definitely been affected by the black dog um, early on in my playing career um, when I was doing a diploma in Indigenous Studies, learning about my culture and my people, um, what happened to Australia since colonisation. I got very angry and upset about, um, you know, the things that had happened and I, I really couldn't understand why we weren't taught this in school. And, and a big part of me dealing with my anger is actually being part of the the positive process and that's telling the positive stories about being part of the positive um, programs that we are doing in our community to make us stronger and empower our people. It wasn't one incident that, that triggered me, it was 23 years of just being, um, I always looked at it, being in the police, you got a bucket and, and, you, and that bucket's got holes in it and you got to keep chopping it up, but I couldn't keep, I couldn't keep the flow level anymore. and. and and I, I went to my a, a psychologist that my friend put me onto, and uh, he said, "What do you want?" And, and I just said, "I don't think I can cope anymore." He told me if I can tried to push myself and continue, I'd probably end up killing myself. But then, I, like I said, I, I started doing. Um, the triathlons, got into it, my bike became my best friend, I can swim, and then it ended up, uh, I did an Ironman. I've done three Ironmans now, and uh, I had a fair few issues to resolve. And you say, where was I there, and where am I now? Um, I've, whilst doing Ironman, Ironman, I'd say, saved me. Um, it's been a big journey. <laughs> Um, and, and I'm very lucky to have come on this tour because no one knows but the black dogs always hunted me and it's been shit. It's been a rotten road. <laughs> those people who have that hard-nosed approach about mental health haven't been touched by it and unfortunately if the statistics say that they will or someone in their family or their close family group will be touched by uh, mental illness and I think they'll have, that'll change their opinion so I think we need to talk more about it, we need to be more sensitive about the issues and we need to think about doing positive things to help our people um, who have these mental illnesses, who do suffer depression um, we don't just tell them to harden up, we actually give them a cuddle and say, are you okay? I wanted people to understand how much they helped me. Because people just smiling on the side of the road was encouragement. And, wow. and, um... So, small things? Yeah, it was just simple things. I, I was, my, my Iron Man was pretty tough. If it wasn't for my family, my, my immediate family, my wife, I've got a, a daughter 25, son 22, and another daughter 19. They're, they're my core group. They keep me alive.